my worry and what I'm telling to you is that the forces of war have been so much better in weaponizing the digital world, much better than the kind of the forces of peace. That's the bad news for you. Uh, the good news is that now slowly the forces of peace, uh, the actors like us, the CMI, our peer organizations, international organizations are waking up to this. There is something we have to, we have to get a handle on technology. We have to be much better in addressing the conflicts and how they evolved. And that is something that is absolutely crucial. I, I, I would say that it's, it's only beginning. We are, we, we are the, the, the party of war is ahead of the curve. We are much, much behind. But there is an understanding, there is a sense, if I talk with the UN, if I talk with the, uh, the other organizations that are working with the same kind of peace building, conflict resolution, that is the sense that, hey, we have to, we have to do something. And there are new um, tools that are coming up. Uh, UN has been quite active putting out of toolboxes and so forth. That's the work that is, is going on. And I think that's what I'm telling you, that the, the party of peace is now trying to kind of go against the war, uh, party of war and really try to really reoccupy much of the digital space. It will be a tough one. And we will need your help on that.